us on our Nats Extra Post Game Show. Adam, congratulations on the victory. And what an offensive showing from your team. You guys were down 5-1 to one in the middle innings there, and you turned things around. It's just one game, Adam. But what do you think a, a game like this, a comeback like this, can do for this club going forward now? Well, it's, it's big, really. Um, you know, I think uh, early part of the year, it's, it's the battle has been lost in really the three through seven, three through eight innings. And uh, I think tonight it showed that uh, the game is played nine innings and we, we got to bring it every single inning and, and keep chipping away. And uh, our bullpen, you know, came and did their job as well. So um, it, it's a really a full team uh, effort there. Well, Trey, heck, man, defensively amazing. Like I said, uh, hitting aside, you know, the, the plays that he makes day in and day out is, is tremendous, and uh, and uh, we're applauding for it. Hey, man, I'm applauding for you. It's so nice to have you back in that lineup and watching you play. You're a joy to play. Uh, watch play, man. Um, you look so good at the plate, so comfortable. After all this time that you've missed, are you back on time? Do you feel like you're right where you want to be? Uh, um, not really. No. Not really. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, you know, uh, I've been kind of scraping, kind of scraping by. It's kind of, it doesn't. The numbers may not seem like that, but it's been, uh, it's been kind of difficult here and there. Just, I think I only have maybe have 30, 40 at bats since, uh, you know, uh, the rehab stand. And of course, being back and, and, uh, but we're getting there. You know, K Long does a heck of a job with me in the cage and getting me ready and mentally focused and, and going out there and, and uh, trying to see as many pitches as possible and, and uh, get the scouting report. My favorite. Yeah, you know, and uh, um, getting a good position to hit. So uh, more bats, uh, hopefully the better we get. Well, I watch you hit, and you just seem to me that you know you can get the bat on the ball. And it doesn't matter if it's inside or away. Uh, you never look like to me that you are struggling and getting the bat on the ball. And um, you hit the ball up the middle the other way so well. Do you work on that? a lot in the cage driving the ball over shortstop because most of the time this year when we've struggled it's been we tried to pull the ball too much you know that you've been sitting right down with them but you in front of everybody they will see that stroke and um and people will try to emulate it uh, well, you know, uh, I credit Brett, Brett Butler and, and my father, you know, coming up. Uh, my dad knew I was going to be 5'8", and, and uh, hopefully kind of fast. And uh, and he said, you know, hit it in the between the 5'6", I want to run like heck. So, uh, you know, ever since I was a small kid, uh, you know, I, I tried to um, really emulate Kenny, Kenny Lofton. You know, hit it the other side of the field, 5.5, you know, Tony Gwynn. And, and like I said, run like you stole something. So, and then, uh, you know, going to AAA with Brett Butler, you know, he, he tried to, uh, again, just instill with me no panic. Um, you know, go up there. If it's two strikes, just no panic battle. Um, you know, this is really where we go to work and, and grind guys out and then really just uh, try to be a thorn in everyone's side. You know, just try to, you know, battle uh, every single pitch and, and good things happen. You know, that, that bat that I had late um, it got jammed, but that was kind of the approach. I just wanted to keep fouling things off until I got something I could handle and, and uh, you know, 32 hoppers through the left side of the infield works. So uh, we'll take it. You'll take it, Adam. One more for you and then we'll let you celebrate with your teammates. You know what it's like to try and come back late in a game against a team that has a lights out bullpen. What do you make now of your team's bullpen with Kelvin Herrera added to Sean Doodle and Brandon Kinsler and Ryan Madsen and all these guys when they're healthy and lined up? Well, just credit to Riz, honestly. You know, he goes out and gets these guys and, and brings them in and they, and they perform. Um, it, it gives us confidence. You know, like I said, it shortens the game. I think, uh, you know, playing in the AL Central for so long, you see a team like Kansas City where the, really it's a six-inning game because the seventh, eighth, and ninth is absolutely shut down. And I think um, I think we got the guys to do that, you know, shorten the game. And uh, what's impressive is I think we have the starters to not even go six. I mean, those guys go nine. It's impressive, uh, the pitching that we have. And, and uh, you know, the hitting that we have, hopefully we can scrape across enough runs to win. Um, so, like I said, I think it's a heck of a combination. We just... Like I said, it's June and we're grinding things out. And, and uh, you know, you kind of see what the team's made out of. And uh, hopefully this uh, win can propel us forward. Adam, thanks so much for the time. Congratulations on the win, buddy. Thanks, boys. And uh, San Marcos uh, Fire Department, uh, shout out to you guys. Appreciate all the hard work you're doing down there. There you go. A little yes, shout sir. out for his boys. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, thank Let's you. Go